Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. I don't always tell you what you want to hear, but I tell you what you need to hear to make an informed decision. If you own XRP, if you're thinking about buying XRP or selling XRP, you need to hear this. It's going to trigger a lot of you guys, but hey, don't shoot the messenger. But before we dive into the information that David Schwartz, the CTO of Ripple, brought to everyone's attention, and quite frankly, caught me off guard. Before we dive into that, I just want to share my thoughts real quick about some of the misinformation and some of the lies about Ripple and XRP. From where I sit, guys, it insults my intelligence, and I think it's an absolute insult to the developers and to the ecosystem of XRP and the XRP ledger. When people lie and hype up a project, it makes it seem like it can't stand on its own merits. Well, I'm here to tell you, Ripple can do just fine with the facts because it is a great corporation. In my opinion, I think it's going to be a Fortune 100 corporation. Now, as far as XRP, XRP is going to do fine. That token is going to do well over the years. I can do tokenomics and math. It's not going to be the life-changing numbers that people think. And we'll talk about that a little bit during this process. And as far as the XRP ledger, guys, that ecosystem is going to grow and grow and grow and do quite fine. So. I think that everyone should start calling out people that are hyping up and lying about everything in XRP and Ripple and XRP Ledger because it's an insult to the developers that have worked real hard to create something that is very, very good, but people tend to just make up things like it can't stand on its own two feet. That's the way I see it. Now. I quoted David Swartz, the CTO of Ripple, a couple of weeks back, a couple of months ago, where he said, when someone asked him, could XRP ever get to $120? Well, David's response was, I find it highly unlikely. Now, David Swartz, from my understanding, owns a, 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 over a billion XRP tokens. So it would be in his best interest if it could get over $120. But he chose to tell the truth. And I admire David for everything he says, because when you ask him a question, he gives you the answer to the best of his ability. And I personally appreciate that. So for whatever it's worth, guys, I want you guys to take that into consideration when some of these foolish people out there start hyping up XRP and telling you it can go to 589, 1,000, 10,000, 50,000, and higher. Because mathematically, it can't happen. And then David himself tells people it's highly unlikely. Guys, who are you going to listen to? One of the smartest guys and leaders of crypto who basically have been involved with Ripple and XRP and the XRP ledger since the beginning are these people. They just are trying to hype up and grow their channel and stack their bags and pump their bags. Be careful who you listen to, guys. Now, that being said, I want to touch base on just a couple of other things. I did a video and it had a big Twitter buzz about some of the misconceptions that were going around about XRP. David stepped in and basically set the record straight about 10 different things. I did a video and added about six more. And I'll leave a link down below if you want to hear it. But I just want to touch base on a few things that David made very clear. For instance, XRP cannot be backed by precious metals like gold and silver. He basically said it can't be a stable coin. There's only one XRP ledger. The price can't be changed. The U.S. government will not be buying back your XRP. Now, he also mentioned that the XRPL uh, is different than, let me get this right, excuse me. He mentioned that Interledger doesn't require XRP, right? So when you hear 
things about the ILP, it works with any assets across with different payments. Now, also he mentioned the Ripple Net is totally different from the XRP ledger. Now, the reason those two points are very, very important is that Ripple just announced that their liquidity hub and they're going to be adding other tokens into RippleNet for cross-border payments. Well, guys, that is extremely positive for Ripple, but it pretty much has nothing to do with XRP, especially the retail token. And another thing I want to bring to your attention is about ODL. Guys, banks do not own XRP. For the most part, they just lease Ripple's ODL supply to make it simple. Well, how does that pump the token? It doesn't. It's extremely positive for Ripple, but it pretty much has nothing to do with the retail token. I personally think it's a competitor, but I don't want to go there. But I want to bring those things to your attention. Now, here's the news that David just brought to everyone's attention. Ripple CTO disproves the belief that XRP hit an all-time high of 384. I'll leave a link down below if you want to read this article. Long story short, he basically said that it hit around 280. Now, guys, that's about a $19 billion difference. That's pretty substantial when it comes to thinking about how far XRP can can pump because the old high being 384 that's pushing four dollars most people were thinking it could hit five dollars pretty easily well guys that's a whole dollar difference that's a pretty big swing now there wasn't any scam or anything like that but basically what happened was one of the korean exchanges they just miscalculated the the payments like the cross-border payments right and so that's all that happened but no one ever corrected it for some reason it came out today but i think it's pretty substantial and everyone needs to be aware of it now think about it guys i know you guys don't like to hear it and it seems like that's all i do is share the bad information but you'd be wrong i share all the information the good the bad or ugly but ask yourself when you hear whoever y'all listen to all the time why have they never told you this information? Why aren't they doing a video right now? Why haven't they shared any of the information that isn't so positive? Guys, keep listening to people that will not tell you the truth and spin the bad news. They're going to get you wrecked. Now, say that with love. Anyway, and when we look at the chart, guys, XRP has been rallying pretty hard uh, for the last basically. Really, the last five months has been doing pretty well. For some reason, it's not letting me click on it. There we go. But now it's starting to pull back. I don't know if it's going to break down, but for the people that didn't see my video, I just want to bring this to your attention. And I know, again, guys, it sounds negative, but the truth is not negative. That's how you make, that's how you become successful trading. And making investments off the truth. But anyway, I went back and I did a video on Masario and I brought to people's attention that one thing that happens, and this is not clickbait or hype or FUD, this is reality. So far this year, Ripple's dumped about 1.6 billion tokens into the supply on the retail token. That's why you're getting a big pullback. It can't pump, but so hard. Now, that's not the only reason, but if you don't think when a token starts to pump, and I did a video on this, I'll leave another link down below. When a token starts to pump and a 1.6 billion tokens gets thrown at it, it's a lot to absorb. And when you go back in 2017 or 2021, the reason it didn't hit a new all-time high was because they added so many 
billions of tokens all the way up. And they did the same thing in 2017. Guys, that's not a good thing or a bad thing. That is just the reality. And if you understand that, once you see, in my opinion, this is what I do when I see Ripple taking profits after this announcement, I'm going to take my profits with them, not financial advice. Do with it as you will. But just remember, guys, it's a $19 billion difference of where XRP has been during its biggest bull run ever. It's something to really think about. You got to understand the tokenomics and the math of everything, guys. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Let me know if you're still stacking XRP. Let me know your thoughts about this video. And if there's any other questions you have, let me know. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit that like button. Come back. And remember, not financial advice. And one other thing, guys, and I say this with love, be careful who you listen to. You need good, honest, non-biased information so you won't get wrecked. Take care.